Hello everyone, thank you for joining me today on Everything Aero Pilates. Today I have two new red cords that I'm wanting to trade on my four cord all black cord reformer. And the reason I want to trade two, oops, <laughs> boober, the reason I want to trade two out is because I like to use at times um, one red only and then at times one red, one black. And the reason I'm not doing a yellow is because I'm just not strong enough in my um, stabilizers to use the yellow. I get stuck out <laughs> away from the machine and I'm, it's not very easy for me to get back up. So someday I might change one to a yellow. But for today, I'm going to go ahead and change a red cord from my black cord. So this is a new Aero Pilates. I opened it um, on this channel. I did an unboxing, this is a 358, and this is a four cord that I use pretty regularly downstairs with my mom, so about three times a week. And I just wanted to add that red cord, or I'm gonna go ahead and do two, just to get the little bit of extra resistance. Now sometimes my mom just puts on two red cords when she's doing her legs, and that's about three cords, but a little less than that. So it, it gives you like a little versatility for that. And I'm gonna go ahead and change them out. This pack came with a two, it's a two cord pack, and that's standard for when you buy the two cords. You probably won't see uh, a red cord alone unless somebody's selling it separately from, from one of their sets. But you can see the edges of these are a little fringed, and that's how they come. It's not gonna affect anything because you're gonna be tying those off. That's just your end to work with. So to start with, I'm gonna do this with the machine standing up. Uh, and Marjolyn Bergman also on YouTube, she does a really quick one. It's not, it doesn't show all the steps, but I mean, it kind of gives you the gist of what you're supposed to do. And she has a machine lying down kind of on her lap or like not on her lap, but in front of her right here. And she's reaching over. So I'll do that in a different video, but this is going to be the standing up cord change. For the second cord, I will do the um, leaning down cord change. So I think I'm going to do the middle ones. And the reason I'm going to do the middle ones is because that stays with like kind of the pattern of Aero Pilates machines. They always have the outer two black even when they have um, a mixed color cord uh, reformer. And then, you know, for the five cords, then they have the two reds next and then they have the yellow in the middle. But since I'm not going to do a yellow today, I'm just going to leave the two outer cords and change out the two inner cords. To do that, I'm going to open this back up before it fell. And I'm going to go ahead and pull, this is probably why she doesn't lay down, but I'm going to get my leg in here because it, it seems to not want to stay open enough for me to work in there. And I have it on the, it's leaning, it wants to lean onto the pulley riser, so the pull-up bar. And that's standard, that's usually how your machine is going to stay up. So that's a good thing. But for right now I want it, and for camera purposes, I want it down here. So the first thing I'm going to do is yank onto this cord from up above to give me room underneath. And then I can pull the current knot out. So I have the current, <laughs> I have the current knot right here. So now I'm going to undo this knot. And this is like a double coil knot. I really, I don't know the name of the knot, but maybe you do. If you do, leave a comment below. And I'm going to pull it out of, pull the um, end out of one coil at a time. There's the first one. And I'm going to do the second one. This part I'm going to talk through as well because I don't know how well you can see it, but I'm, I'm really just untying. So I pushed it back up through the one coil and pulled it through, and then I pushed it back up through the other coil. And now this cord is loose, so I can go ahead and take it out just like that. Okay, there's my black cord. Now I'm going to feed this black cord back through the top. It's going to sit up here with the black cord brothers, and I'm going to push it down through the bottom hole there. And now I have an end of a red cord down here. So again, I'm going to use my hand to help pull and get a good length down here, because I am going to use the double coil knot. Now I showed this in detail on a different video, but I'm going to coil it once around my finger, twice around my finger, and I, I usually use my two fingers, and then a start a third time underneath, and then I'm going to push it through the top. So, once around my fingers, 
twice around my fingers. <laughs> Start the coil on the third one and then pull it through the top. <laughs> I read somebody's review that it takes two people to do this. Now I did a tightening on a black and yellow cord the other day. No problem. Whew. But this red cord <laughs> is strong. So um, I would advise you guys to find somebody in your household and just have them hold this down so you can do the tying. I'm just really gonna wrestle it. One, two coils. Starting the third coil. Four, I almost got it, I almost got it. All right, go on the top. No, no, don't slip, don't slip. <laughs> it slipped. <sighs> Try it again. Pull it down. One coil, two coils. Starting the third coil. Come on, get in there. Putting it through the top of the two coils that I made. Oh. We're gonna get this done. You, you're gonna be surprised how much your hand hurts from just holding it in that position. All right, yanking it down. One coil, two coils, three coils, two coils, back to, oh, starting a third coil. Before I go up, near the top. Oh my goodness. Oh. Oh. One coil, two coils, start on the three coil. This is gonna get old, right? All right, guys. I'm determined to get this done. Um, <laughs> I know it's possible, it has to be possible. If I have to, I will call my husband up here to help me. Oh, I think we did it this time. Oh my, you guys. We did it. I think that was like six time is a charm. Okay. Wow. That red cord is in. Whew, maybe I only need one red cord. <laughs> I'm just joking. We're going to try it on the side now, and um, I'll do that in a different video right after this um, to see if it's a little easier on the side. Uh, but what did that take? In my head it's about five times, but I don't know because I was surprised at how quickly that thing just unravels while you're trying to tie it. So I'm going to lay the machine on the side now. I'll see you in the next video. Thanks for joining me. So real quickly, let's go over what we did. We <laughs> untied the black cord. We pulled it out through the top. We put the red cord in through the top and in through the bottom. We yanked the red cord down while simultaneously tying it underneath with a one, uh, one coil, two coils, begin the third coil, started to push it in through the middle of the, the top coil, and we finally got it knotted after a few times. So um, it worked, it's on, I'm happy it's over. It really didn't take too long, but that was not as easy as I thought it was gonna be. Um, and now I'm gonna lay it down on the side and show you guys that way. Thanks for joining me, see you in a bit, bye.